Hello everybody. I just wanted to record a quick video to talk about my old vape that I had. I got this also like the other video I just uploaded about my uh, i7. I got this in October. It's a Davpo Enec. And it looks like it's seen somewhere, you know, I mean, it's, it's kind of guffs here and there on it and on the back. And the first thing that ended up failing on it is the USB charging port. It fell right off the uh, PCB. I took the screws out of it, took a look at the insides, and it was just held on by the solder joints. There was no silver bracket. There was no tape on it. There was nothing. Very poor quality control on that. And the second thing that it en ended up failing is uh, this is a really bad webcam, but um, trust me on this. The screws the threading for the 510 connection for my um, is the Nautilus, um, the Spire Nautilus Mini tank, and uh, I guess that's stainless steel threading on here. And this seems like plastic or stainless, I can't tell but the threading is brass. Now what do we know about brass from science class? It's soft, it's malleable. So I guess over time, I'm screwing this in over and over and over. Ended up in it not catching anymore. I mean, I could kind of get some tanks on like this, but it does not catch at all anymore. Yes, I could use a converter from an Ego to 510 and then screw it onto that, but why would you make it out of brass? Why would it wear out? We, I contact, well, my dad contacted Dovpo. Uh, in broken English, they said, if you order from us on their website, we will send you replacement parts. So I unscrewed this, and yeah, I mean, if I had a soldering iron, I could technically replace this. So I just want anyone out there who's thinking of getting an EMAC, and they're not crazy vapors. You're not going to go out and rebuild. You're not going to make your own coils. You're not going to do any of this stuff. You're just going to use your normal pre-made things. You have to uh, be aware that these things are shoddily made. They're not reliable. Uh, I forget what one I'm buying now, but I'll have a review of it when it gets here tomorrow. It should be here tomorrow afternoon. Because now I have to use my dad's little Kangertech uh, variable voltage thing that dies twice a day with my uh, vaping regularity. So, yeah, uh, avoid the EMEC, avoid Dovpo. Just not getting good parts. They're not doing any quality assurance, and they're definitely not doing any long term, uh, you know, for their warranty. They should be screwing and unscrewing with robots doing this over and over and over and over and to see if it wears out. But they obviously don't. So stay away from it. See ya.